Hi everyone, my name is Iceman, and today we are in Across the Obelisk, and I'm going to be doing my Nesglect overview. Uh, of course, my overview of how I play him is not definitive. Please do however you like to play him. Uh, as far as Nesglect goes, he is the final hero. He's most likely one of the last ones you unlocked, unless you purposely go out of your way to unlock him. Uh, which is not too difficult, to be honest. Uh, the... How he heals, of course, uh, is going to be with Mental Leech and all that. We'll go over his traits. Uh, one of the things to unlock Nesglict, uh, the path that you have to go. You have to have the Stargazer event in Act 1, uh, which is on the bottom path, and it's usually where the fishing event is, or it's by the fishing event. It's like two over, I think. Uh, it's not always there, so you have to have that event there. When you do have that event there, you need to buy... Uh, one of the divinations uh, that the person offers and then you're good to go till you get to the red zone red zone you'll see his icon just follow the path it's uh, middle to him uh, middle path usually is the easiest way to go you can go top path and then back down to the middle uh, but you need to go there and then he has an item for someone to hold in his accessory slot that potion slot uh, that does that item does slow you down uh so put on someone that you don't mind losing speed and someone that will not need their accessory slot for a while because you will be carrying that the whole time after you have that item you're going to be going once you get to act four you have to go the bottom path to uh, uh Snemo's merchant ship and you have to deliver that item to him once you do that, that's how you unlock Nesglect. So this is kind of a little convoluted of the things you need to do, but it's definitely worth it. Nesglect is one of the most powerful healers right now. Let's go over his traits. So you have Mental Leech. Uh, at the end of your turn, apply one insane to all monsters and heal heroes for 20% of all insane and sight charges in play. This heal does not gain bonuses. Level 2, you have Night Terror and Chilling uh, Gaze. Night Terror, uh, all resistance, minus 20%. Uh, if you're damaged by others, then... Or if they're damaged by others, they suffer uh, four insane, uh, yeah, insane charges and three dark charges. It has seven uses. You play this on a monster. So it is really good if they have high resistances. It, it helps keep that down. Chilling Gaze, uh, you have plus one to your chill charges, plus one to your sight charges. With uh, When you damage with a hit, you deal 12 cold damage, apply three chill and one sight, and it lasts one turn. Level three, you have Mind Devourer and Resourceful. Mind Devourer uh, is... Uh, you play Mental Leech twice at the end of your turn, or it procs it twice, your innate trait. Resourceful, when you play a skill card that costs energy, refund one energy and apply one sight to all enemy three times a turn. Level 4, you have the Chosen One and Faded Future. Chosen one, you have plus two to your insanity charges uh, for the next, and then the next four spells uh, that you play, you apply three sanity, insanity charges, two sight charges, two uh, invulnerability charges to all monsters, and you gain three powerful and three insane charges on yourself. Faded future. Uh, you play this on any hero. Every turn, uh, reduce the cost of the highest card in your hand by 10 until discarded. It lasts two, use, uh, two, two uses. Level 5, you have Incubation and Omniscient. Uh, incubation, upon picking up upon pickup, add a friendly tadpole boon card into your, each hero's deck. I'll show you what the... I don't know if the tadpole's actually in here. Let me... It's not. Uh, so what I will do uh, for you guys uh, is I will put this up on the right next to here. Just a picture of the card. And you can pause it and read it. Um, 
Omniscient. Uh, so it's level five. Uh, so, or yeah, level five on here. Omniscient. Uh, sight is your plus three charges to your sight. Uh, your inspire is plus one, and your buffer is plus one. As far as Nesca goes, I have, I think I only have one build path for him at the moment. I know, I think I had two at one time. Uh, play. Yeah, right here. Uh, so how I typically build them, uh, where is, can I, there we go, save load deck. So right here is uh, my eyeball slash insane build. Uh, it's more for the eyeballs, to be honest. Uh, I do get rid of these mind blasts for more mental shakes if I can. Uh, or more clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is super strong because it's all monsters and it's applying sight to all monsters. And then I upgrade the mind vision uh, since they nerfed it uh, to the blue version instead of the uh, gold version. Uh, sometimes I will have one blue, one uh, gold just because of the three times and dispel. I make sure that it just pops them. But uh, I like to go that path and I like to have the... Sight, sight, sight. I like to have, where is the scroll? The scryer staff, where every eyeball uh, charge I apply, I apply fire. So I like to have that with, and this is really crucial, the clairvoyant scroll. So when you play a spell, you're applying one eyeball to all monsters. So every time you're playing one of your cards that's already adding eyeballs, you're adding even more to everybody and you're putting them on fire. It's just insanely strong. Uh, as far as rings go, um, there is the All Saint amulet, which is good because it adds more charges to your to your eyeballs. I mean, and your insanity charges for when you end your turn and everything. Uh, there's another uh, ring that is pretty strong on here. Um, if you're going the way I like to go, and that's the madness ring here. So every insanity charge you're applying sight charges, right? The eyeballs. So with the deck I have here, of course, all of them have some insanity charges on here. So you're applying eyeballs with that also. It's just, again, super strong, very effective. You're adding a ton of burn and killing everything. Another way you can go is you can go strictly like with the insanity as well. There is a pretty good, um, let's filter here insanity cards that are available so like hallucinations really good uh, of course the mental shake uh mental blast ah, mind twist right here it's kind of like the mind visions except for the insanity charges uh, of course because you're able to stack uh insanity a lot i mean quicker off the bat they did the equals 0.5 when you're doing the damage but it, it's super strong uh, it, it is a little costly too. I mean, three versus two. That's kind of why I like to go the eyeball method instead. Uh, spectral missiles is also really good when you're doing that as well because it ignores block and you're dealing more insanity on there. You can also put this on your eyeball deck if you have the one where it changes insanity to uh, sight or adds sight with it. Um, keep that in mind. That's a really good one as well. Uh, Nez Collect, he's, again, he's super strong. At first, he's kind of weak on the healing because uh, you have to wait till the end of your turn to apply all the insane charges and then heal everyone when you end your turn. So if you're killing enemies before you get to your turn, someone needs to be healed, you are lessening your effective heal just by ending your turn. He does get super strong later because you're able to put insanity and sight charges on everybody pretty quickly. So by the time you end your turn, you're pretty much and you do mind devourer where it's doing the, your mental leech twice. Um, you're you're just healing everyone and you're just doing damage. It, it's really strong. Uh, I like him a lot. Oh, here's a tap pull right here. So with the tap pull again, if you didn't pause it or anything uh you are drawing uh it goes to everybody everyone gets one in their deck uh when you draw it, it's a boon uh so you draw plus one 
uh, card, you draw a card, you're gaining one energy, one energize, three vitality, you suffer six uh, insane charges, and you heal for 18. It's all right. If I'm doing my sight build, uh, what I like to go is I like to go Chilling Gaze, because uh, it gives me sight charges, Mind Devourer to help heal more, the Chosen One to give me more um, sight charges on everybody just by playing spells, and then uh, Omniscient, uh, Omniscient, Omniscient, Ugh. Anyways, this, uh, your site plus three on here. So you're just getting a lot more on people on the site builds. Um, I have done the Night Terror in other ways before. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I think this is the most efficient at just demolishing the enemy team. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how I like to play Nesglect. Uh, I showed you the items. I think that I like to go on them. He's pretty straightforward on that. There's not really much else to him, I think. Uh, Pet-wise, oh, that's important. Yeah, pet-wise, get Ockley. Because Ockley plays uh, a version of Clairvoyance that doesn't do damage, but it applies sight and insane charges to everybody. It does do damage if you have him uh, corrupted on there. Then it's just like playing the Clairvoyance card every turn. Get Ockley, make sure, or at least have someone have Ockley on the team, but preferably you because you can start adding fire on everybody. So Ockley is very important. Uh, other than that, that's I think that's it right now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope it was a little helpful with him and how to unlock him. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like. Uh, feel free to comment, and I hope this video did earn your subscription. Have a great day, and take care. Bye.